Today we will make a free energy generator using copper coil, a round magnet, DC motor and a small nuts. So we will take a round magnet and arrange a small nuts in a triangle shape and wound a copper coil or this uh, nuts and make the motor with a round magnet to move in front of this coil thus the flux linking the coil changes and EMF may generate. So we will check what quantity of EMF may be generated and try this experiment. We can start the experiment uh, by doing this and see that how much quantity of EMF will be generated by doing such winding or uh, Ma nuts which is uh, sticked with a round magnet and we will make them a round magnet to rotate in front of a spin in front of the magnet and see what quantity of EMF may be generated. So for that <clears throat> we will fix this nut over uh, the magnet in a triangle shape so that it can we can wound a copper coil or this. For that we will take a glue gun and with the help of a glue we can fix this nuts over the magnet. You can apply the glue over the nut and fix it over the magnet. in a triangle shape. In the same way we will take a glue and fix it on the another nut. So we have arranged the nuts in a triangle shape so that we can wound a coil over this nut. So once it has been done, after fixing uh, three nuts uh, around the circumference uh, of the round magnet, uh, next uh, we will fix a uh, nut over about it. It has been all the nuts are fixed. Next we will fix a nut over all these uh, three screws. Once it is fitted, now next we will start winding uh, insulated copper wire over this uh, to have a maximum number of turns. So we will take an insulated copper wire, leave little bit and start winding the copper insulated copper wire over this for a maximum number of turns. So we will wind as much as turns as possible to get the maximum flux linking the coil. Once we have winded maximum number of turns, the ends of the two coil we will twist it so that it will not move here and there. So we, we will fix it tightly. Once it has been fixed, next we will mount this or a over a wood so that once it has been fixed next we will fix the arrangement of magnet and coil over this Once the arrangement is fixed, next
next we will fix another wood over which we will mount the motor Now fix the motor in front of the coil. So we'll fix the motor with the magnet in front of the coil. Fix it tightly and see that uh, the magnet is able to move. Once it has been done, next we will fix the terminal so as to connect the two terminals of the coil. We will take two nuts and fix it uh, so that we can connect the So once the two terminals are connected, now we will connect the two ends of the coil to the terminals. Before that we will remove the insulation of the two endings of the coil. So as to fix the it with the terminals. both the endings of the insulation is been removed once it is been done next we will connect it with the terminals Now connect the forward bias diode to the terminals and connect the another ending to the diode. Once it has been connected next we will connect a filter capacitor once all the arrangement has been done now we will connect the motors At both the ends of the motor.
once it is been connected all the arrangement is been done. done next we will give a torque to the motor and see whether emf is generated or not for this we will give a maximum torque to the motor and see whether emf is generated or not So the magnet uh, rotates in front of the coil and uh, thus uh, maximum flux linking with the coil and we will check uh, what quantity of EMF is uh, generated in the coil. So here you can see that uh, maximum 9.85 volt is been uh, generated. Next, we will connect the bulb and check what quantity of EMF is generated. So, we fix the extension board. The glowing of bulb indicates that uh, EMF is generated in the coil. Thus, the glowing of bulb indicates uh, the generation of EMF in the coil.